In this video, we're going over how to use the Fitbit Versa 3 for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to use the Fitbit Versa 3 for beginners. And uh, just to show you, um, I'm using a cool little charging uh, dock or cradle here. I normally put this on my nightstand when it's time to charge. So cool little accessory if you want to get for yours to help charge easier. I have a link below for that in the description. All right, so we're going to start with just navigating the screen. And you'll notice if you want to turn on the screen manually, you tap it twice to get it to wake up. Obviously, if it's on your wrist, you would just flick your wrist, just turn it and that will make the screen go on. But on the dock here, we just tap the screen twice and that makes it come on just like that. So let's start with swiping from the right. We're just gonna go over how to navigate the screen first. So when you're on the main screen, swiping to the right will take you to your quick settings. And here you can turn on your uh, do not disturb, night mode. You can adjust your brightness here. Just to show you, I can go plus or minus if I wanna bring that brightness up or down. And uh, when you're done, you're just gonna swipe to the right and it takes you back. Um, next, you have your always on display. So uh, the always on display is, let me just show you, let me turn it on. So with certain clocks, um, they have what's called an always on display, which means that when your Fitbit goes to sleep or when the screen goes off, it will still show a clock. For example, this is the always on display for this clock that I have chosen. So even when the screen is off, I can always see the time, which is cool. But disclaimer, this does drain the battery a little bit more. So just know if you have this turned on, um, your battery is gonna drain faster. So anyway, that's the always on display. You can turn that on or off just by swapping to the right and going here. When this is lit up, it's on. If you tap it again, it will disable it. So now it's off. So that's how you control that. Next, you have your screen wake. Now what screen wake is, it's basically when you turn your wrist. If you wanna turn your wrist and have that activate the clock, make sure that's on. However, if you don't want this on, you can turn it off or turn it to manual and then the screen will only turn on when you tap it twice. So right now I have it on manual. So the screen will again only turn on if I tap the screen twice, not if I flick my wrist. Important note there. Okay. And then to the right here, the bottom right, we have our volume control. So I can control the volume turned up or down. Now, important thing to note, this Fitbit does not have a button. So the Versa 2 had a button on the left side. This one has no buttons. It's completely touchscreen. So, um, that's why you have all these extra controls because the buttons used to be the shortcut to turn these features on and off and now there's no button. So obviously waking it up is just two taps to wake up the screen. And then if you wanna go back to the last thing you were doing, just swipe from the left side to the center like this and that's how you go back. I can do it again or uh, I'm on the quick settings now so I would just swipe over. But basically, Swiping from the left side to the center is how you activate or how you go back one step. Okay, so we've gone over on the main screen when you swipe to the right and what that does it takes you here. Now, if I swipe down from the top, this will actually allow you to read and see all your notifications from your phone. Later on in the video, I'll walk you through how to change your app notifications so you can kind of adjust what apps you want to give you notifications and what apps you don't want to give you notifications. But for now, I'm just gonna show you, if I just swipe down, I can see, okay, I got a text message here, I got a message from Amazon, and a FanDuel message, and probably some messages about uh, emails. So you can usually read a little snippet, but if you tap on it, then it will allow you to read more of the message. On the older Fitbit, you couldn't do that, so that's cool. You can also archive it here, or you can tap open, and that'll take you right to your phone, and then you can see the full article. Now, if I want to get out of this message, I have to then use my back function, which is swiping from the left side to the center, and that swipes it away. Now, 
if I have a notification here that I'm like, cool, I'm done with this, I'm gonna swipe to the left to get rid of it. I'm doing it real slow here, but if you just swipe fast to the left, it'll trash that notification, it'll get rid of it. I can also trash these notifications here. Now you might have a text message and you might say, hey, I wanna respond to this. If you wanna respond, you would tap and you can see the whole message and then swipe up. You can tap the microphone and you can speak your response. You can hit the menu here and select one of your quick replies. And I'll show you later on in the video how to change these quick replies if you wanna make them different. Or we can hit cancel. And the other option is to reply with an emoji and just tap on that icon. And here I can say, hey, I wanna send a thumbs up. I'm gonna tap here, swipe up, and then tap send. And now it's gonna send an emoji as my reply to that message. So that's how you respond to a text message. If I wanna get out of this menu, I just swipe up and now I'm back on the main screen. Now on the main screen, if I swipe up, I have all my other uh, more detailed Fitbit facts. So got my uh, weather, uh, different information about my workouts I did today, how many calories I burned, steps, how many floors, distance. Um, and if you hit manage, you can control what shows up in that section. So you might say, hey, I wanna add water tracking. You can add that as an option. I want more advanced stats. I want my relax. So you can also hit more widgets here. Um, and then you, or actually, well, this is the more widget section, but these are all the different things you're able to add. Um, if you add Fitbit logging, you would tap it, hit show widget. And then here is where you can add the water tracking and the weight tracking to do it all from your, um, from your wrist. Hit done and done. And now you'll have these extra options here in the menu. And for this section, we just swipe all the way up to get out of there. So swiping right was quick, um, the quick settings menu, swiping down and notifications, swiping up are gonna be our detailed uh, fitness facts and different things we're tracking. Now swiping this way to the left will show you all the different apps that are on your Fitbit. So we have our Fitbit today, which is what we just looked at. We have our Alexa. If you're trying to activate the Alexa function, you can have it control your Alexa devices by going there. So just tapping the Alexa icon will automatically have Alexa start listening and you can control your different Alexa devices. Um, I normally don't use the Alexa function too often, but what I do use it for is you can have it set a timer for you or an alarm you can have it turn on lights in your house. Um, it doesn't do every single function that Alexa is known for, but it does a lot of them, so that's cool. Um, let's keep swiping over. You've got your settings here, your exercise options. Now, my uh, icons are not gonna be in the same order as yours because I changed the order. Now, if you wanna move, let's say you want your exercise icon to be on the first screen here, first screen as in when you first swipe over. If you want it to be one of the first apps here, you just simply need to hold down on it for one second and then drag it to the left. And now I can make it one of my options. So when I first swipe over, there it is. So that's how you rearrange the apps on the screen. We keep swiping over here. We have all kinds of options from weather, timers, alarms, now, I wanna show you setting an alarm because um, again, because there's no button, a lot of people get confused here. So if I wanted to set an alarm, I just tap on the alarm app and I can hit new alarm and I can just swipe up and say, okay, cool, I wanna set it for five. Um, and then you can tap here to get even more detailed. Smart wake up, when do you want it to alert you? Turn it on, turn it off. And when you're done, remember, if you wanna go back to the last screen, you have to swipe from the left side again, and that takes you back. And you can then toggle through your different alarms. When you're finished and you wanna go back again, swipe from the left side, and that'll take you back to your, basically your app screen here. So just remember that swiping left works for just about everything to get back since there's no back button now. 
And as we swipe through, you'll see all your other options. Other apps that you download will show up on these pages here. Pandora app, you've got your coach app. Um, find my phone, which is a cool feature. You can have it ping your phone. If your phone is lost, this will, as long as you're in Bluetooth range of your phone and you tap find my phone, then um, your um, watch can send a message to your phone to make noise so you can find your phone. You also have your wallet right here. Now you'll need to set up all your cards through the Fitbit app, but once they're set up, you can go to your card here and then you can use your wrist to pay for something at checkout. Okay, so that's about it. These are all the main options. Now uh, I'm gonna briefly show you one last thing and then we're gonna jump over to the Fitbit app where you're gonna make a lot of the other um, customizations that you wanna do. So for clocks, this is a new feature. With clocks, it will allow you to change the clock face based on what clocks you have set as a, a preset in the app. So just to show you, I have this clock, I have this clock, Essential Watch. This is one I use for working out. So you didn't used to be able to do this, but now you can actually change the clock face just by going to that clock icon. I could tap here and now I have my new clock face enabled and I can tap here to toggle through my different stats. So that's how you would change the clock face if you already have some presets set up in the app. And now I'm gonna show you how to set those presets along with how you download new apps from your phone. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the Fitbit app, which is right here. So this is the main screen of the Fitbit app and it looks just about the same on an Android or on an iPhone. So no need to worry. I am using a Google Pixel 5 for this uh, demonstration, FYI. Okay, so what you're gonna do is in the upper left corner, tap on the uh, profile icon and you're gonna go to Versa 3 and I just tapped the wrong thing. Tap on Versa 3. Now, if your Fitbit app is not set up yet, no problem. Uh, let me just take a step back. You're gonna wanna uh, go to the Play Store on an Android phone, go to um, the App Store on an iPhone, download the Fitbit app. You'll need to create an account or sign into your existing account, and then you'll tap set up a device, and that's how you would pair it. Once it's paired, you would tap again on that profile icon in the corner, go down to Fitbit Versa 3, and here is where you'll see all of the advanced controls for customizing your Fitbit. So uh, the first thing I like to show here is notifications. So you can control what you want coming through your phone. Obviously our phone is, has so many apps on it and so many things are trying to notify you. So here's where you can be very specific about what apps you want to send you notifications. So you can even say, hey, I don't wanna get calls on mine. You can turn that off here you can set a different text messaging app to be the app that sends you messages. Maybe you don't want it to be your regular text message app, whatever. The main thing is coming down to app notifications and just take you know five or 10 minutes and go through this list. What it's gonna bring up is a list of apps that are on your phone and you can just simply just say, hey, if I get an Amazon notification, check the box. I wanna get that notification on my Fitbit. But then you might say, Airbnb, oh, I don't care. You can uh, turn that off. So just go through and check the box for any app that you want to send you notifications. Now next, you have your quick replies. Now I've mentioned this earlier. You can set your quick reply for all these different apps here. For example, when you get a text message, you can set a quick reply uh, for each, you know, or five different options for quick replies. So you can say, Right now it's yes, no, sounds good, can't talk now, what's up? But I can just come in here and just say, hi, can't talk. Whatever you want it to be, you can just set it. And then when that notification comes through and you tap it to reply, you can go to one of these defaults. So basically pick the app, type in what you want your default replies to be, and that'll save you some time when you're replying to messages from your Fitbit. Okay. Now, we're gonna go back. 
Okay, if you want to download new clock faces for your Fitbit, you'd have to go to clock faces and it'll take you to the store. Now, the first thing it'll show you is just your device and what current clock face you have. At the bottom, it'll show you your favorites and I'll show you how to save a favorite. But I'll show you that after we pick a new clock. So let's go to all clocks. All clocks is the store where you'll find hundreds and thousands of different faces for your Fitbit. Now, important thing to know, all the clock faces are not free. A lot of them are paid and I'm gonna show you how to decipher between a free clock face and a paid clock face. Let's say you want this, um, this clean cues right here. So I can tap on this one. Now automatically I know this is a free clock face because it simply says select to download and I don't see any credit card icons. On a clock that's not free, you'll see a little notification that shows up down here that's gonna say, this app might require purchase. So let me actually show you one that has that. So let's switch over. Let's pick, let's see, let's do this one here. Okay, so here's the message. This item may require payment, which is solely managed by the developer. So if you ever see this icon, it means that the clock is probably not free and you probably will need to pay for it before you can actually use the clock. There are some clocks that will allow you to um, use it for 24 hours first and then they will deactivate and then you'll have to pay. So just be mindful of that. Okay. I'm gonna go back to one of the free clocks, which is this one. Again, it doesn't have that extra message. And if I wanna download it, I just simply tap select and then tap install and then it will um, download that clock face onto my Fitbit. And this process can take, you know, probably anywhere from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, depending on how advanced the clock face is. So um, you can go back and do other things. I would encourage you to read through the description because sometimes there's other little notes, like different things you can enable if you read through here. So just make sure there's not like something special um, or some extra things that you need to do. Sometimes there's little notes about customizing it that will only show up in this section. So make sure you read that. Okay, so that's downloading now. Go back to clock faces. Okay, so now the app says that it's still switching, but if I go over to my Fitbit, oh, there it is. So now it's showing the new one. And on the Fitbit, I can now see there's my new clock face right there. So it successfully downloaded, which is awesome. So here's my current clock face. Now here's the thing. This is a new cool thing that Fitbit just added, which I love. So they allow you to set favorite clock faces. If you're like me, I'm constantly switching out the clock faces because I want to keep it just new and exciting. So um, sometimes you'll download a new face and then you want to go back to one of your older options. So these are the main five I have selected. Now, if I wanted to add this new clock face as one of my options down here, um, I would have to get rid of one first because you can only have a, a max of five. So to do this, I have to tap on one of my old ones right here. And once I tap on that clock face, I have to come all the way to the bottom and tap remove clock face. Hit remove. And now it'll automatically add my new one as a favorite. Now when you add it as a favorite, it's great because it'll also show up on your Fitbit as an option. So like I showed you guys earlier, when you go to that clock app icon, it'll now have an option for this clock face. So if I switch back to this one, and then later I wanna go back to that new one I just downloaded, I just go back here, and I can just toggle between it, which is great. So anyway, that's how you download a new clock face, and that's also how you make it a favorite. Okay, next I wanna show you how to download apps for your uh, Fitbit Versa 3. So go to apps here. And now the first section will always show you my apps, what's already installed. And then you can go to all apps and see the rest. Now, the selection is not as large. 
So just keep that in mind, but um, you can go through here, find some cool games. And the cool thing is Fitbit's finally getting on top of it where they have new and exciting apps on my Versa too. There's like almost no new apps on there, which kind of sucks. So go to the store and see what apps are available. If I wanted to install um, this COVID-19 app, I can just tap on here. And then I just tap install and install, and that's it. It's just like the clock face, it'll show you the loading. And then when it's done, it will show up on your pages on your Fitbit. So that's how you download an app. And if you go to wallet, this is where you would go to add a credit card if you wanna pay with your Fitbit Versa 3. So all that's gonna happen in this section. If you wanna add music, you do it through the media section. And that's about it. Those are basically the main functions. Um, hope you guys found this video helpful. I know it was kind of a long video, but I tried to be very thorough and I wanted to include just about everything so you guys feel confident. The Versa 3 is just an awesome device. And if I can just recommend a really cool clock face for your, when you're working out, I would say go to clocks and use this particular clock face right here. Now this one really helps you keep track of your heart rate and also your zone. So if, for example, you're running and you wanna make sure your heart rate is high enough where you're burning calories, it'll tell you kind of how fast your heart is beating in real time and it will tell you when you're in that fat burning zone. So I love to use this clock face when I work out and so we definitely wanted to recommend that. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.